Feast your eyes upon these delectable delights. They are Christmas trees with surprise treats. Those treats are chocolate. Now you're interested, aren't you? And it's easy to make as well. And all you need are these. A newspaper, a yoghurt pot slash paper cup, modelling clay, aluminium foil, thin coloured plastic wrap or empty sweet wrappers, A2 card, a piece of string, Christmas wrapping paper, tinsel and some small treats. So now let's get to the making. So the very first thing we do is we take our newspaper and already from the edge I've marked out 30 centimetres and drawn a line just down there which I'll now cut out. The thing I love most about this make is the fact that you don't really need to know many measurements. This is one of them. Now already you can see that you might think, oh, that isn't going, that isn't particularly neat, but that doesn't matter at all. Now for the time being, I'll move this bottom page out to one side here, and then I will roll it. The tighter that you roll the newspapers together, the thinner the trunk of your tree will be, because that is what this is making, the trunk of our tree. Then I'll simply secure it with some sticky tape here, like so. And I'll do exactly the same at the top here. And I'll cover the entire thing in wrapping paper. And when you've done that, you will have a trunk which looks like this. Well, if I were to let go of it, it would fall over. So we need a base for our trunk, which is where the yogurt pot or paper cup comes in. So here we are. I have that there, and I'm going to cut it approximately in half, which will look like this. And already I've put inside there the modelling clay and that will act as the stability for my trunk. And I'm then going to wrap all of that in wrapping paper, including the actual inside of the modelling clay, which you can see there. And to help keep it that extra bit neat, I've stuck it all at the bottom. So I bring back my trunk, slot it in there, and I'll forget about that for the time being. So the next part is I'm going to draw an arc. Now this circle, is going to be 30 centimetres in radius. And I don't have a compass that's that big, which is why I've made my very own with a pencil and a piece of string as well. And then I'm going to cut around that line there, leaving me with a segment of a circle just like this one here. Now, if you imagine, I'm then going to fold that into a cone. So that's where my sweets are going to go into. So along here, 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 I'm going to mark X's, and that'll be where the sweets go in. And when you've done that, you will have a segment which looks exactly like that there. So then it's just a case of putting holes into all of those X's, just to help me slot those sweets in. So I'll bring back up one I have done earlier, turn it around there so you can see it a bit more easily. And under this X there, I'm gonna put my modeling clay, because that's where I'm going to press my pencil in there. Like so, I'll do the same on the other X as well. Please do ask an adult for help if you need it, and then, I'm then going to press my pencil all the way through and that actually makes the perfect size for the sweets, which we'll see in just a second. So now it comes to the folding part. So I'll take this here and I'm going to then fold. Now this is the part which everybody is going to see when they, they look at it. So if you're going to take your time on any part, this would be the time that you want to take a little bit of care and attention on. So I'll stick one piece at the top one piece at the bottom as well. And when you've had a bit more time than myself, you will have a cone which looks like this, with the holes pushed through there, all looking very sturdy. And then it comes to the thing, my favourite part of this make, it is the sweets part. Now, you can choose traditional sweets. In fact, here are my sweets here. You can go for some healthy snacks or you can make your own truffles like we have done here. Now, actually, that sounds complicated. It really is not. All you need to do is take some cream, take some melted butter, put it in a bowl together, mix it and pour it over some chocolate, let it set in a fridge, and then that will leave you with a substance which looks like that. So I'll take my truffle and I'll dig a bit out. I'm going to try and make these about marble-sized, which is the perfect way. I want as much chocolate or truffle as possible, but also I don't want it to be too heavy when I start sticking them all on to my tree like so. So once I've rolled those, they can be in any shape you want, I'll then dip those into my cocoa, which just stops it from sticking to the foil. And then it comes to the wrapping part. So I'll bring this up here. So I'll take my truffle, pop it into my foil. You don't need to be neat about this part whatsoever. Ideally, you'd have cleaner fingers than I've got. And then you stick your foil onto the wrapping paper, fold your four corners up here, and then this is what's going to create the nib 
to then push in to my tree. So then I'll wrap it, wrap it, wrap it. And then I'll stick all around there, neaten that up, leaving you with a truffle that looks like that one just there. So then I'll press this into my cone here. And once you've done that all the way around the cone, you will have a cone which looks like this. Now you want to talk about taking shape, look at that there. In fact, I'm definitely going to have a sweet as soon as this make is over. So if we look at the finished products that we've got there, the only thing that's missing is the tint. So that is the piece de resistance. That's what makes this tree no ordinary tree, but a Christmas tree. So I'll start with my tinsel at the very top. And the beautiful thing about this is actually, as you go around, simply going around acts as a glue. And a particular Blue Peter top tip is that, if I pull this around here, I'll go around each of the sweets individually. So when you pull them out, the tinsel still stays nice and tight. Once you put more time than myself, and then you put the cone on top of your base, you will have a finished product which looks like these three magnificent forests that we have here. And I think they look rather good.